Hello guys, this is Damian from ForexBot.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live Forex trading account. I remind that the trade you will see here is with and only educational purpose. So currently I'm looking at the 5 minute chart of the American dollar Japanese yen Forex pair. As you see, at the bottom of the chart, I have attached an indicator that is well known to most of the traders. This is the RSI indicator, which is an abbreviation that comes from Relative Strength Index. So just a few words about the relative strength index first. This is an indicator that takes the relative changes between the higher and the lower prices on the chart. As a result, we have a single line that fluctuates in three areas on the indicator. The first area is, the, is between 0 and 30, which is the oversold area. The second area is the neutral area between 30 and 70. And the third area is the zone between 70 and 100, which is the overbought area. So shortly, when the RSI line goes in the overbought zone, we have an overbought signal, meaning that the forex pair is probably overbought and it is very likely that the price decreases afterwards. So take a look at this top over here. Notice that it responds to the stop. The price goes in the overbought zone and we see a slight decrease on the chart. Then again and again here. Let's do another example. We have an overbought signal. Over here, a decrease follows. Again, overbought here, a decrease comes on the chart. And here we have an oversold signal, price increases. However, the indicator is good for discovering divergence as well. Meaning that if the indicator is decreasing and the price is generally increasing on the chart, we have a, uh, we have a bearish divergence on the chart, meaning that the the forex pair is very likely to decrease sharply. Opposite to this, the bullish divergence is when the indicator is increasing and the price is still decreasing. This means that we have a bullish divergence and the price will be very likely to increase. And this is why I started this video now, because I want to show you how to trade a divergence with the relative trade index. First, let's see how the price is performing. I take the last bottoms on the chart, then I take the last tops on the chart, and we have something like a general bullish trend. Okay, now let's check how the indicator is performing. These are the tops, ooh, decreasing for sure. And now the bottoms. And we see that the indicator is generally decreasing. Notice that I try to match approximately a uh, the periods of the relative strength index and the price. So it all starts over here with this stop over here, which responds to this stop here. See that the price is increasing and the relative strength index is decreasing. At the same time, I notice another very interesting pattern on the chart that supports eventual decrease on the chart. And this is the Descending tops and bottoms pattern over here. So this might be the new perspective of the price action. And since the price is attempting to bounce from the upper level of this orange channel I just draw on the chart, I intend to immediately sell uh, the American dollar Japanese yen for pair for half lot, placing a stop loss order above the last tops on the chart, somewhere at 112.32 maybe. Okay. So, what do we have? We have the RSI indicator that just got out of an overbought of the overbought zone. At the same time, we see the creation of the descending tops and bottoms pattern that responds to the current state of the RSI. However, the overall price action is still in bullish mood, while the overall RSI altitude is clearly bearish. This creates the bearish divergence on the chart, and as a result of this, I assume that the price is likely 
to decrease. This is why I created, I opened the short trade on the assumption that the price is very likely to decrease. Notice that I would not place a take profit order at this trade because I am not sure yet for how long the trade might last. I will look at the price action for uh, signals that are opposite to my trade as well as I will look to the RSI indicator for the same reason for opposite signals and when I spot a signal that hints eventual price reversal I will immediately close my trade on the assumption that I'm done with the bearish move. Now I will mark all the levels on the chart. I mean not all the levels but the stop loss order and the entry point in case I have to <laughs> I have to immediately close my trade without being able to to shoot it on video so we'll have this visualized. Here they are. Red for stop loss and white for entry point. And now I'm pausing the video and I'll come back to you with results from this trade. Okay, guys, I'm back about 30 minutes later to tell you that I'm closing the trade immediately. And I will now tell you why I closed the trade. Let me just mark the level at which I closed the trade. Over here. I closed the trade because I got two signals that the price might be done for now with a decrease. Uh, the first signal is uh, this one where I see that the relative strength index line is entering the oversold zone. Take a look at this. I'm zooming in the chart. See that the relative strength index line is at 26.30 approximately, which is below the 30 level, uh, which creates an oversold signal on the chart, meaning that the decrease might be finished for now. Or if a decrease will appear further on the chart, this might come after a correction. And the second signal I'm getting is that the price is reaching currently the lower level of the orange channel I, I draw on the chart uh, which makes me think that if the price will decrease further that is likely to happen maybe after a correction to the to the already broken pink bullish channel the best thing is that the trade is profitable and now I will sum up what I did in this trade so I entered at 100, uh, at 112.22 and I exited at 112.11 which is uh, 11 pips profit in this case, 0 0.11 uh, on the American dollar Japanese yen forex pair. When I divide this by the entry price of uh, 112.22 I get a result of 0 0.0009802 approximately and when I multiply this result by 100 I receive my total profit from this trade which is approximately 0.1% uh, for something like 30-35 minutes of trading and uh, I believe this is a pretty good result for only half an hour. So, thank you very much for watching. This was Damian from ForexBolt.com. Make sure uh, you subscribe by clicking the, the rounded logo at the bottom right corner of the video. Also, you can watch our previous video by using the thumbnail at the bottom left corner of the video. Um, I wish you happy and safe trading and I hope that I'm going to see you at the next live Forex trading session.